first official blaze. I'm grateful. Here we go. We started at the top of Springer. I know I didn't do really much of a video up there, but there was somebody else there, and I think that they were enjoying their solitude, and I wanted to be respectful of that. So I'm probably going to opt to turn this off when that happens just to respect other people's silence, if you will. It's a beautiful day. It's in the low 50s. It's so, quite a breeze, but it's not bad. Um, feels good. Jim's hiking with me. Woo! My best friend. <laughs> for a little bit here and um, then he's going to take off and go to Atlanta airport and fly home tonight. That's the date. That's the date. Happy Valentine's Day everyone. This is day one and um, I have a lot of emotions uh, running through me. Yesterday was particular, particularly um, tricky. Today, a lot better. Um, but yesterday, I was filled with so many emotions. I was very excited and very sad. All at the same time, it was this ferocious juxtaposition of feelings happening because as soon as I saw the mountains, I started to become um, super excited and I started crying. And then I looked over at Jim knowing that he wasn't going to be walking each step of this journey with me physically um, and knowing that I was going to have to say goodbye to him today. And I started crying even harder. And uh, yesterday was a whole mix of that up until registration and then after registration things started to sort of settle down um i think the biggest thing i have to say i have to give a shout out to my family who's being so supportive um your love your belief in me your prayers are truly everything um because i know that i don't do this alone i have all of you with me in spirit out here and uh, that is not lost on me, and I am so grateful for that. My friends, oh my gosh, you're all amazing. Um, your support is just, it's overwhelming to be honest with you. Um, I just don't even know what to say um, when you all are like, you got this, and your words of encouragement, and all, all of your your confidence in me is incredibly inspirational it really is I find that to be incredibly uplifting and um, thank you thank you with all of my heart um, it means everything no matter how far I get better be Maine but no matter how far I get <laughs> um, that real just really keeps me going I think it's gotten me the, it's gotten me to today which <laughs> is the first step right so uh, enough babbling for now and I will catch up with you later thank you I thought it was really a cool spot to share some video with you as I'm walking through the rhododendrons on the left and on the right mixed in with all this beautiful mountain laurel which is right there it's really a crazy beautiful day I'm so grateful that my first day isn't pouring rain <laughs> I know it'll, I know it's coming I'm not I have no illusions but at least the first day just to sort of 
get my head on straight and get some things figured out uh, without having to contend with that is, uh, is quite the treat. Oh, and here's the stream crossing. How pretty. <laughs> nice. Oh. Makes me think of when me and Sarcy hike and we take our boots off and we just put our feet in the water. Isn't it so nice? <laughs> I'll try to be mindful not to move the camera too fast on you guys. Sorry, I think I just did that. I don't want people getting nauseous. <laughs> okay. It's really pretty in here. So this is often referred to as the green tunnel. As you can see, it's green. It's really beautiful. I kind of wonder if these will be in bloom when blue sky comes through here. Could be. Blue sky is my friend Nancy, who's also doing the AT, but she's starting in March. And we've been sort of co-conspirators with the preparation. She's kind of the one that pushed me, gave me that final little nudge to get my butt out here. So I thank you for that, Nancy. It's so pretty. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think there's a waterfall up ahead we might take a look at before Jim takes off. <laughs> Absolutely perfect first day. So this is, I'm at Three Forks. I don't know what river it is. I'd have to pull out my AWOL guide to check, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I just saw a bunch of military guys, uh, army, going into the woods. <laughs> Probably going to be doing some maneuvers out there tonight. <laughs> I'm glad they're going in the opposite direction that I am. <laughs> um, this is just gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. Again, I'll try and turn slowly so you guys don't all get sick to your stomach. I can hear my sister yelling at me now. Slow down. <laughs> um, beautiful. I'm about uh, four and a half miles in, so I'm not sure where I'm going to end up tonight, but this is where I'm at today. It's at where I'm at now, and it's gorgeous. Talk to you soon. So you can see there's two markers on the trees here. That's because um, it's two trails. Uh, concurrently, Appalachian Trail and the Benton, I don't want to say it wrong, Mackay Trail and they intersect or they they go along the same way for a bit. This is also the way to Long Creek Falls. It's like a point one blue blaze. So for those who don't know, who don't know what blue blaze is, um, it's a side trail. So it's marked with blue blazes, whereas the Appalachian Trail is marked with the white. So um, a lot of times, well, I think it depends on the hiker and what they're doing. Sometimes people take the blue blazes and sometimes they just keep on moving. Um, I'm getting a little hungry, so I'm thinking maybe I'll check out the falls. Stuff my face a little bit with some salami and cheese. And uh, get back at it. So when I get to the falls, 
I'll definitely do some video because in the videos I've seen, they're truly gorgeous. This is so pretty in here. These are interesting little nubs. I don't know what you call them. Like trunks in the trail. They're pretty cool. Never seen anything like that before except until I saw it on someone else's video. <laughs> pretty cool. Long Creek Falls. We're gonna go check it out. After all, that's why we're out here. To explore, right? Oh, some people, nice. I haven't seen anyone in a while, so that's cool. Wow. That is glorious, huh? Whoa. Wow. Hey, so the falls were amazing. Um, I just met a gentleman named Andy, retired Air Force. Andy, thank you again for your service. Um, honored to have met you. And uh, he's retired Air Force, in the Air Force, I think he said 45 years. And his trail name is Speed Bump. And that's his trail name because he tends to slow people down along the trail from talking to them, <laughs> which was adorable. So, uh, yeah, it was great to meet you, Andy, and um, enjoy this gorgeous day at the falls. And, uh, you know, it'll be great if you, if you get a chance to follow my channel. Awesome. And uh, take it easy. So, as you can tell, I'm going uphill. I hate to, I hate to do this to you. So you don't have to listen to me huffing and puffing. Um, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go to Hawk Mountain Shelter. It's not as far as I wanted to go today, but one of the things I promised myself is that I'm going to try and be smart and listen to my body. And I haven't hiked in a while because of my back and my foot so trying to get them healed up so I don't need to undo all that time and effort on day one so uh, Jim is on his way back to the airport in Atlanta it was a tough really tough so long and that's why I didn't jump back on video too soon. I needed some time to just let myself experience all those emotions and put them then put them aside and focus on the work I need to do today, which is to hike up to Hawk Mountain. Um, we'll talk soon, and uh, thanks thanks again for watching.
don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if it's owls. Or maybe it's the rangers out there. The army rangers doing their maneuvers. I don't know. Either way, it's cool. <laughs> Not a lot of people out here. Which uh, is pretty peaceful. Met a few, as noted. Um, but in general, it's uh, not as crowded as the whites tend to be. <laughs> That's for sure. Especially on a day like this. Man. Oh, it's also a Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I should keep that in mind. This is pretty cool. Um, because it's winter and there's no leaves on the trees, you can see the mountains on that side through the bare trees. You can see the path over here. And then on this side, you can see more mountains. Love hiking along ridges like this. It's pretty. I haven't seen anybody since seeing speed bump at the falls. It's really warm. <laughs> I'll tell you. If I were not almost done for today, I'd be changing into my shorts. <laughs> I have my t-shirt now. I'm down to my t-shirt and my pants. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, Lord knows when it gets down to be 20 degrees, I got plenty of stuff for that. <laughs> it's on my back right now, digging into my shoulders. <laughs> Uh, it's all good. It's all good. It's going to make me stronger. Right? That's all. It's going to make me stronger. I'm surrounded by mountains. <laughs> where I came from. Going this way to Hawk Mountain Shelter. My shoulders are done. I, it's interesting that that's what's bothering me the most right now. So I think it's a good idea. Take my pack off. And try and roll out those muscles. Drink as much water as I can, get hydrated, get some electrolytes in me, and maybe set up camp. Just uh, relax for a bit. And here we are. So when I come out tomorrow, I'm going to go that way to go along the AT. I bet you anything I'm getting up to that mountain at some point. I don't know what it is. But this is the towards the shelter. It's early. But it's also day one. So we'll check it out. It's only a little after three. But the ranger that we talked to this morning, Bo, who was a wealth of information, super, super helpful. Um, he mentioned that this was a really good place to stop for the first day. Had a classy privy. He didn't use that word classy, but he said it was a good privy and a good water source and cell phone reception. So I'm kind of intrigued by that because I haven't been able to upload my tracks for Jim at all today because I didn't start tracking until he left me and that was at a point where I did not have a connection so I couldn't send them to him. So I got to figure that out. A little bit of a glitch but shouldn't be an issue tomorrow if there is cell phone reception at this shelter. 
and I'm able to upload everything and do what I need to do. So, we'll see. <laughs> All right, this is my site for the night. I'm at Hawk Mountain Shelter. I just met uh, some a really cool um, person named Jim. And I'm gonna go use the privy. Woohoo! I thought y'all got the down spell, so have a southern drawl. I'm, I'm, please don't think I'm being disrespectful to uh, people with a southern drawl. I'm absolutely not. Uh, anyway, I love the southern drawl. <laughs> So this is the privy, and this is a very nice one. So I'm excited, works for me. I'm not sure if I do this, or if I just leave it like this. So here I go, woo woo. Time to get water. Doing my chores first when you get to camp, and that entails setting up my shelter and getting water, and that's what I'm doing now. Hey there, um, it's about uh, 7.30, I think, uh, hold on, 7.13, so dark out, um, I'm in my tent, I think everybody else is in their tents or shelter, in the shelter also, I'm at Hawk Mountain Shelter, so I went 8.1 trail miles today. Um, went a little, little for, a little further than that because we ended up hiking up to Springer Mountain, so it added an extra mile or so. And then I took a side trail uh, to the falls, as you'll see, as you've already seen, and that was great. I got to the shelter. I got here about three o'clock this afternoon. I was going to keep going. Made the decision not to because I was just feeling tired. Um, it's been an exhausting week leading up to this, to say the least. And I just need to be smart and listen to my body and just when it's time to stop, stop. I got here, there were a few guys in the shelter. I said, hey, and just kept going. And then I just started walking around looking for a place to set up my tent. One of the guys came over um, and introduced himself. His name is Jim, ironically. I'm like, oh, that's my husband's name. And he's retired Navy and a retired police officer. And he's hiking with his best friend, Craig, um, who's also a former Navy. So it was pretty cool to meet them 
um, especially given Nicholas is in the Navy and doing his thing. Uh, and so I won't say any more than that because I'm not sure what I should say and what I shouldn't. So I'm going to err on the side of saying nothing. Anyway, it was pretty cool uh, talking with them. And there was another uh, younger kid, uh, Nate, um, who was at the shelter too. So they were really cool and we hung out and we ended up like cooking dinner together and chatting for a while. And I got, I, I left early. I was just, I'm just tired. I don't know if I'm tired enough to sleep, but I'm tired. I'm sore. My back's really sore, which is already making me anxious, but I'm not going to worry about it. I used my handy dandy roller for quite a while. I rolled out all my muscles. Hopefully I rolled them out enough to help me um, recover for tomorrow. And I took some magnesium and some turmeric. So those are supposed to be really helpful. We'll see. Uh, the privy here is not bad. Um, it works. It does what it's supposed to do, which works for me. And I put all my food and stuff into the bear box for tonight. The weather is supposed to be kind of crappy in the morning. So these guys are kind of taking it slow like I am for the first few days. And so I'm probably gonna hike with them tomorrow up to Gooch Mountain Shelter, which is about seven, um, yeah, it's about seven and some change. Don't make me do math in my head, please. Cause it's just gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> You'd never know I ever worked with numbers at all in any way. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, so we're gonna sort of meander out of camp in the morning after the rain lets up. So we can pack up, we'll grab our stuff, pack up at the shelter up there, you know, put our tents and everything in our packs and have breakfast and then head out. And then on Thursday, we're gonna have a big push. It's probably gonna be about 16 miles to get into Neil's Gap because we have to get off trail for Thursday night because Thursday night is going to be um, heavy downpours and thunderstorms. So uh, they're going to, I guess they have a friend that lives in the area. So they're going to their friend's house and uh, my concierge, Jim, uh, thank you, Jim, got me a cabin um, at Blood Mountain. So I'm going to hunker down there for the night and then we might meet up again on Friday morning. We'll see. Um, good group of guys. Um, it's nice to, um, it's nice, it was nice hiking by myself today, but it's also nice getting into camp and having some people to talk to and get to know. So anyway, f I'm going to flip this around in a second so I can show you my book and walk you through the book in case you are following along in an AWOL or you're learning how to use the AWOL guide. Uh, it's a really great guide to use. Okay, here's the AWOL guide. I'm gonna try and do this without getting, I'm not sure how to do this without getting a shadow, but you can see Springer Mountain is where we started at zero. And you can see here on the right, it's impossible to do with one hand. Um, okay, I'm so sorry. Thanks for your patience. Uh, this here, this line you see over here, this actually gives you sort of like a, the, the topography, if you will. And it shows like coming, you can see like at the top of Springer Mountain, you're at the top. Oh, bug. That's what I get for leaving my screen open. You can see it was at the top and then it came down and then all the way down to Hawk Mountain Shelter, which is where I am. You can see on the left of the word Hawk Mountain right here. That's my mileage. So it shows you all of this information in this guide all the way. It tells you where there's a stream over here where there's a raindrop. That's where the water is. Those numbers, 3782, 3720, 3350, that's the elevation. So you can see how high up you are over sea level. And the bear means it's bare and a bare area. Um, so you can see the way that I traveled today and I'm here at mile 8.1 at the Hawk Mountain Shelter and you can see I'm at an elevation of 3,193 feet so I'm pretty high up. 
You can hear the wind in the distance too, I think. So tomorrow, the plan is to go all the way down to here, which is Gooch Mountain Shelter at mile 15.7. Um, and the elevation there is 2649. And you can see that water drop means there's a spring and the little tent means there's tent sites and as well as the shelter. I was gonna go further, but I think I don't know. I'm not sure that there's a lot of spots to tent in that area if you go down and then you end up in this bear territory that I've highlighted where you, if you camp there, you have to have a hard shell canister, which I don't have. So the idea is to hike through that area and then get to Neil Gap at mile 31.3. So that's the plan. It's been a good day. Uh, I should, probably should have held that book the other way, so I apologize. I'm still learning, so bear with me. <laughs> um, today was an exhilarating and emotional day and an empowering day. Um, it started out awesome with Jim. We got to hike together. It was really wonderful. I think saying goodbye to him on the trail was one of the hardest goodbyes that I've had to have with him. The love of my life. <laughs> um, he's amazing. I am so blessed to have his support and everything that he's doing um, to help me do this because it's not just me doing it alone. It's everybody. It's Jim. It's all of you, all of my friends and family who are rooting for me and praying for me and have confidence in me. And I have to tell you that that is incredibly uplifting and it really does, it really does help me. So thank you very much for all of that. I love it. Um, I'm just, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point, but I will say that after I finally got my emotions in check and had my cry and got better. <laughs> I, I um, ended up enjoying the trail. It was really peaceful and beautiful. And um, I feel like I'm already, already blessed with, with getting to meet new people um, so far and it's been really wonderful. I will sign off now and uh, today's video might be a little long and goofy and maybe I rambled too much, um, but I'll try not to do that. I'll try to be more conscientious so that it's not boring. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's supposed to rain sometime tonight. I think I set my tent up right. We're gonna find out. Um, if not, maybe I'll have to sleep in the shelter tomorrow night or sleep in a wet tent, I don't know. But, um, as my sister and I, uh, we tattooed, we did those temporary tattoos. She got, she got the, this, this one for me. And if you can see it. So this is temporary, but it's awesome. One day at a time. As soon as I started to really um, absorb that, I will say it made things a lot easier. I don't have to worry about tomorrow. I just got to get through today. And that's all I did. And it was great. Thanks and have a great night. Talk to you tomorrow.